What's up, YouTube? <clears throat> I wanted to go ahead and make a video on my new 2018 Prius 2 Eco. Do a quick walk around. The reason why I purchased this car is because I do a lot of commuting, about 100 miles a, a day, five days a week. So in the Prius lineup, there's a Prius 1, 2, 2 Eco, 3, and I believe a 4 and a 4 Touring version. And um, the reason why I got the 2 Eco is because the Prius 1 and 2 have the older um, nickel metal batteries and the Prius 2 Eco version comes with the lithium ion battery along with the 3, 4, 3 and 4 also have the lithium batteries but this is the cheapest Eco you can buy with the lithium battery and also out of all the Priuses this one gets the best gas mileage this one gets 58 city and 54 highway. The Prius 1, 2, 3, and 4 get 54 uh, city and 50 highway. And the reason why this one gets better gas mileage than all the other ones is because this one doesn't have a spare tire for one, so it's less weight in the trunk. And also, it has the lithium battery which is lighter than the other battery and smaller and then also it's not fully loaded it doesn't got the sunroof doesn't have the 17 inch rims it doesn't have the fog lights there's just things that um, it doesn't have that makes it lighter that's why this one gets the best gas mileage <clears throat> so instead of a spare what they give you I'll show you now it's a tire um, repair kit So what's cool about this car is it has the Toyota Smart Key. So the key's in my pocket, but all I gotta do is just come up and put the key in here. And this car was packaged with uh, mats for the trunk, and then also for right here behind the seats. So that's all you get right here this right here is a tire inflator and this right here is um, basically equivalent to like fix a flat so you connect this to your tire pump some of that in and then fill it up with air and there's the jack so yeah you pretty much you put that in and then you just hope it works but if you do get a blowout on the freeway your tire just completely blows out and you're pretty much screwed and you're gonna have to call your roadside assistance but i really wanted that really good gas mileage so I, that's another reason why i opted for this version Toyota vehicles, if the emblem has the blue, if it's illuminated blue like that, that means it's a hybrid. And one way to tell this is an eco version is the badge. This is the only Prius that will have that badge, is the Prius 2 Eco. This Prius also was optioned with this. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but if you see it says Prius right here, it's kind of like a clear um, vinyl with some texture to it, kind of like a protectant. It was also packaged in the car. I would have bought it with nothing packaged on it, but Toyota always puts something in their cars, which this one has the rubber mats, that vinyl on the bumper, and then um, I believe that's it. So this bottle comes with the 15 inch rims, alloy rims, 
and they also have hubcaps on them. I think they went with alloy to be to make it lighter, but then they went with these hubcaps just to add more style. Comes with some Toyo tires. Nice. I might change these rims out eventually for some 17s or possibly even some 18s. I'm not sure yet, just to get some more style out of this car. This car is definitely not a speed racer. It's not that fast, but it's not what I care about. I want to get really good MPGs on the freeway. Sometimes I'm spending so much money on gas just to get the broken back. I'll go ahead and show you guys the inside. Oh, also, um, on the Prius 2s, or the Prius 2 Ecos, I mean, they're harder to find in certain colors. Like this color right here, white, uh, which is called Blizzard Pearl, is actually um, a special color on this model. When I asked for it, they said there was only like two or three in California at the time available for them. But um, I think silver and uh, blue are easily accessible. But some colors are harder to get in the Eco. But anyways, here's the inside. It's got black seats. Kind of designed to it. There. Like I said, the rubber floor mats. Did it, it didn't come with any carpeted ones, just the rubber mats. It's got a cup holder here in the door. This black right here, actually in the sun, it's a kind of metallic. It's got a metallic uh, color to it. Also with this, and videos and stuff, you might think it's just white, but actually no, when there's sun and it shines on there, you can actually see a, a pearl, basically just like the paint job. It's got a pearl on it along with that too so this is the six inch screen you can also um, in the other Priuses like the Prius three and fours you can get a bigger screen than that it's actually huge actually it comes down to like right here it's hard to show in the video and then the center console as you see got my wallet and then you got more space down there and you can move this Two cup holders, got outlets, only one USB but I guess that's fine. But uh, I think even the Lexus CT200Hs which are based off of Priuses have two USBs which I don't know why the Prius didn't do it. And then the back, pretty good room back there more rubber floor mats with the leaf on it <laughs> another and these seats I believe fold down I've never folded them yet oh there we go so you can fold one side or both sides you also got a cup holder here and armrest here's a shot of the roof liner. Got one light there. Lights up here. It's also got a place to put your sunglasses. Made in Japan. It's refreshing to see in 2018. So what's cool about this car is it's got the spark key so you don't actually have to put it in anything. You just get in the car, push the brake, and this illuminates. So the car is basically started, but the engine is actually not running. So right now, to put it in drive, you just go over left and down. And then it's in drive and you can actually start driving 
and um, and just drive in electric mode as long as you go slow enough. The electric doesn't kick on until about 25 miles per hour or so, unless you step on the gas kind of hard, then it'll turn the gas engine on. I'm not sure how this gas gas engine starts. If it starts with a starter or if it or some other way. If anybody knows, go ahead and comment because I'm curious to know if this engine has a starter because I've never heard it a starter kick in on this car. Just somehow the engine turns on. But yeah, here's the steering wheel. You got your steering wheel controls here. Lane assist. Uh, cruise control assist. You got your Bluetooth over here. Radio controls. Trip button. This car is equipped with Toyota Safety Sense, which is um, available on a lot of their models. It's, it's for um, if you wander out of your lane, it kind of will steer you back in, or if you get too close to a car up ahead, it'll slow you down. And yeah, just look up Toyota Safety Sense; it'll tell you all about it. What's cool about this is if you if you uh, touch car while you're driving, it'll bring this car up, and it'll show you where your power is coming from. If you're running off just electric battery, and now it will also show you how much battery you have, and it'll also show you if you're running off your engine and your battery at the same time, or just your motor. It's pretty cool. Audio pretty much similar to um, most Toyotas since like 2006 or so. They had this same kind of system going on. Because I had a 2014 Tacoma and it had the same uh, interface right here. Yep, just look just like that. But I really like this feature here, that's pretty cool. And then up here, you got your speed. This car only has 89,000 miles. It's pretty awesome. You got a full tank of gas. I'm really curious to see how long it's gonna last. On my other cars, I can only go about three days um, <laughs> until it runs empty. But that's because I commute a lot. So let's see, I'll see what this car gets. Got your time right there, really cool looking. Got some more uh, lights over here for different things. Let you know what doors are open. And this car will also rate you on how you drive. Um, like just now, I just took a, a short five minute drive and um, it rated me. It said I got like a 70% out of 100 on my eco driving which is supposedly pretty good. Another thing with this car is um, visibility. Some people complain about because of that pillar that goes across, but it's actually not too bad. And the bottom glass is actually tinted, so it kind of has a different look to it, as you can kind of see in the video. It's a little darker, but it's all right. I'm probably gonna end up tinting these windows just because I think it'll, well, I like it for the summertime. It doesn't get as hot in here and then it also looks better on the outside. <clears throat> so for some reason, Toyota left the seatbelts on. I'm not sure why. But yeah, I just picked this car up today. Really excited to see uh, if I could save some money on gas. You also got your drive mode. I believe it has a sport mode and um, EV mode. I mean, uh, eco mode. And then you can also drive on electric vehicle. I don't know why my camera's not focusing. Electric vehicle mode only. But I think if you go over a certain uh, miles per hour, it, it, the engine will kick on anyways. And then anytime you come to a start to park the car, you just push this button right here. Park. And then this is uh, pretty much like a slap shift system. Oh, I guess I just put the video vehicle in neutral <laughs> on accident. I'm not sure what B is yet. I got to look into that. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not sure yet. But yeah, this vehicle's pretty awesome. You got your buttons here, temperature, fan speed. It's actually blowing cold air out right now and the car's not even on, or I mean the engine's not running. And then you got your, uh, choose where you want your air to go. Also, right here, if you put it in eco mode, um, you, your car won't be as cold or as hot on, on the heater and the AC, but you'll get better miles per gallon. AC's on. I don't really need that on right now. A 
regular rear view mirror. That's pretty cool. Comes down pretty slow. And you got some lights here, dome light there. Oh, you even get a light there. A lot of cars you don't get that. It's got airbags on the side. I believe it's got airbags over here too on the pillar, side pillars. Not sure what that is yet. Looks like a fog light switch, but this car doesn't have fog lights. <laughs> Traction control off. I don't know why you would need to turn it off on a Prius. And then you got your gas button here. Hood prop. Emergency brake. Or parking brake, actually. Supposedly this car is a six speaker uh, audio system. I'm not sure where all the speakers are. I know there's one there, and then I don't see any back here, but I guess it has six. Alright, well I'm going to cut this video now, but something really weird just happened. I'm only sitting here and the gas engine turned on and it's powering the battery for some reason. I guess because I'm using battery, having the car on. <laughs> Pretty weird, but okay. Thanks for watching.